right, let's get back to this. We're just about done with Quest 64. Or at least we've reached the farthest point I've ever reached before. I remember when I was really young, I was never able to get past these knights. The, um... Rose Knights in the castle. We're never able to reach the end of that. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what happens at the end. Since I never got to see it for myself when I first played through this. I still have the cartridge laying around somewhere, I just never got around to finishing it. Hello. What do I want to do to you? That's good enough. are you? Oh, look. I don't recall ever running into these before. Well, let's try killing them. Winged sunfish, I can't imagine you'll be very vulnerable to water. Air seems to work alright. see how effective my rock magic is. I'm guessing it's going to be terrible. Yeah, it can't even touch them. Determined resistance. Thankfully, their attacks are easy to avoid. I still don't get the point of that attack. Large cutter is just better in every way. Maxed out two elements now. <clears throat> but I might be in some trouble. I think I actually need to go back and heal. Maybe I can just use the black wings. They don't look very black, they look more gray. Give me more. They're so convenient. be deterred. I'm still determined to see how this ends.
Alright, we're officially in unfamiliar territory for me now. I have no memory of ever seeing this. So I think I've officially passed the point that I never managed to clear when I was younger. So, hooray for that! I've officially beaten my old record. For some reason, I remember these knights as, ac as having actual rose heads, and they don't, and I'm disappointed. I'm not sure if my memory was taking liberties there, but... You seem to be on... One track mind. Uh, this is pointless. There's no way I'm ever gonna hit him. Well, two can play at that game. And... Well, only one of us is effective, apparently. But that's not a big surprise. Great, and now I'm all turned around. Oh well. I haven't gone that far. Let's hope this is the right way. If not, no big loss. Oh, hello. A mixed bag this time, huh? for 27 damage and has no additional effect. I'm never going to be able to hit you. At least that one died. Unfortunately, now I'm going to meet the same fate I did last time. I decline to die in such an ignoble fashion. But there's no way any of my attacks are ever going to hit you. So let's just leave. I believe I just went up some stairs, so it must be this way. If not, oh well, I'll just turn around. I think I'm somehow still on the right track.
Oh, hello there. You look very unfamiliar. Let's do some rotating. That can't be that king, can it? Well, let's find out. And go fight him. Well, I have no idea what kind of spell that is.
Woo hoo hoo, that was one hell of a fight. God damn. I kind of want to go back and save now just so I don't have to do that all over again. But. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> now I can't remember which way I was supposed to go. I think I came up to get in here, so. This might be the right way.
I think I went the wrong way. Yes, I did. Well, that's very convenient. Well, let's go fight. Not you guys, though. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> You're no fun. Alright, off we go to the final confrontation, I think. You guys really don't hear very well, do you? Shannon, I wonder what she's doing here. What is this, a map of the continent?
Oh, I suppose we have no choice but to move forward. We got to find our dad, finally. Weird thing is, he kind of looks like my dad. Well, this looks like a final boss door, if I've ever seen one. And I've seen plenty in my time. Ugh. You are just the antithesis of anything that could possibly be fun. Anyway, let us go fight the boss. Ah, uh, that must be King Bajus. Ooh, he looks sinister. Okay, he is quite powerful. Let's hit him with things and see what works. Walking water hits pretty well. And there's no dodging that. That's instant. I'm not sure if there's even a... Oh, what is he doing? Well, that missed. Which is nice to see. Oops. That was not the right spell. Please try to cast the correct spell, Brian. Oh, it's real nice not being able to see for the majority of this fight. I guess I should stick with this since it seems like the only thing that isn't a guaranteed hit. Oh, and it clears my buffs. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Ah. <sighs> Okay, I can just do the water pillar thing, which is fine with me. Haha, uh -huh. I deal more damage than you do. Some king. Sure misses a lot. I mean, for the fact that he's attacking someone who isn't using evasion.
Oh, I guess that's it. That's King Bay just dealt with. Now what? I probably have to fight Shannon, don't I? Ooh, there's no music at all. Jeez, these things do ridiculous damage. I don't know how I'm meant to survive this. Probably a lot more grinding is the sad truth. Oh, hello. Hello, I mean, yes, they seem pretty terrible. I was honestly expecting the game to end after I fought King Bages, so this is more than I was prepared for, and I'm honestly a little worried that I'm going to end up having to grind to be able to survive, which would be kind of anticlimactic this close to the end.
guess there are no fights here. Just a big, pointless area full of nothing. It's a bit odd. I wonder if any spirits or treasure. Yeah, I used almost everything beating King Bages. What is this? Is this not where I'm supposed to be? Guess not. Oh, okay. try to fight these. I don't think I'm gonna get very far. Ow, no. One more hit and I'm dead. I don't even really have a chance to get an attack off. If I could freeze them really quick, I might be able to deal with them. But something tells me that's not gonna happen very easily. Oh, hello. S these are supposed to be Spriggans. They look more like Yeti. Well, these are much weaker. And much more evasive, apparently. Let's try Wind Bomb instead. Oh, and now I'm silenced. Great. And I guess I have no choice but to beat you with my stick. I guess there's no loot or spirits or anything here. It's just enemies and empty space. Let's recharge mana before I leave. This is going to lead to a dead end, isn't it? Let's just go the safe route. Oh, hello again. Oh, three of them. You shouldn't have. No, seriously, you shouldn't have. Game suddenly acting like it's trying to get quarters out of me.
Oops. It's just another one of those enter and leave things, isn't it? Yep, yeah, wait, what? I'm back here again? No, no, it's different this time. Okay. Off we go then. Oh, hello. I'd be happy to take some experience from you. I guess it's easier to just slug it out with them. Uh, hello again. Hello and goodbye. Or not. Yeah, even evasion doesn't help at all. Jeez, how are you meant to be able to fight those? That's just excessive. Maybe if I had... Level 2 spirit armor? I don't know. That just seems a bit ridiculous. Actually, it's my low fire that's probably making this difficult. Or my complete lack of fire would be more accurate. no fighting those in my current state. Unless I can freeze it on the first turn. It's just gonna destroy me, and I can't outheal that kind of damage. Oh, this seems fair. Jeez. Four of them? Yeah, right. I still don't know exactly how the stats work. I'll have to read up on it and maybe play through this again. Not that I really care about doing things optimally. But it would be nice to figure out how the stats are actually distributed. Because, like, these defense and agility stats, I have no idea how to even begin raising those. I imagine it's just being hit and hitting things with your staff, maybe. But that's just a guess.
Really? I've been told earth and fire. I've been told water and fire a couple times for uh, the attack damage buff. I don't think I've ever actually leveled fire. I know water is pretty much mandatory. I see. I am definitely no speedrunner, I can tell you that. Oh, we're back in Corrupted Mel Road. Nice. Can I get some corrupted wings? No, the doors don't even work. What about the inn? Nothing. I wonder if I can just leave. It better not make me go through the whole damn world again. No, that would be ridiculous. some supplies in here. Melrose looking distinctly unhealthy. Did Cross Stitch steal the power crystals or something? I can't even imagine what kind of speedrun strategies this game would have. I don't remember this door. Is this the door back up to the monastery? I don't think I ever went back up there the first time. Oh, we're back here again. Okay then. This is a very strange dungeon. I actually never finished this game when I was a kid. I only got up to, uh... To, uh, the castle in the second in the, in the last town, Bannock Castle. That was as far as I ever got when I was younger, and I could just I just kept getting killed by the Rose Knights. It's good to know that after almost 20 years, I'm competent enough to finish a video game. Alright, Professor Means, time to die. More Earth. Ooh, out of bounds, I bet that's fun. I bet you get a lot of use out of exit and uh, escape and return, too. That might just be stating the obvious. I really don't know much about the effort that goes in. Oh, hey, it's Shannon again. And another path that seems to go nowhere. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight you, aren't I? It's weird, toward the end of the game I started to suspect that there was something more to Shannon. It was kind of odd how she always seemed to appear everywhere I was. Oh yeah. I mean, I realize it's not exactly a good game, but I still have fond memories of it. This game has all kinds of problems, but... Mm, I don't know. It's a little more than nostalgia. I enjoy it. Alright, time to get killed by Shannon.
I imagine you must. It takes a lot of effort and repeated playthroughs to make a decent speedrun score, though I'm sure you know this. It's, I imagine it's really hard to do with a game you don't enjoy. Oh, hello. That is some beard you have there, sir. I'm suddenly getting Kulex flashbacks. Well... Hmm. <laughs> I suppose we fight. Hello. You already have wings. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, that's not incredibly bad. What am I even going to do here? I imagine he has no particular weakness. I'll just try out all sorts of stuff until I find something that deals good damage. 34. Pathetic. Hmm. Some extra movement might be nice here. Oh, nice! Actual dodging mechanics! I am a fan of this. That's decent. Yeah, I think Wind Cutter might be my best bet here. Well, let's try a few other things. I don't get... <laughs> it seems like some of these spells are just obsolete. Like, Cyclone has a little more range than Large Cutter, but that's the only advantage I can see. I guess air, or I guess wind isn't exactly optimal anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. Does he cleanse my debuffs? Or my buffs? Okay, you circle that. Let's try it again. Nope. Ow. Need the movement. Uh, how do you miss casting a buff on yourself? Uh-oh. This is different. Okay. That's just a huge... Screw you, Brian attack. With no apparent way to avoid it. Okay, he's changing it up again. Ow. Got it. Okay, that's how you do it. Nice. Now let's, uh... I doubt this is gonna work, but I'll try it anyway. No! Okay, it actually worked. I'm a bit worried about the green numbers that appear over his head when I cast that, though, because I'm worried it's actually healing him. But maybe it isn't.
Wow, holy hell. Okay, no two self. Never get hit by that. Jesus is kind to me today. Hmm, I wonder. I'm pretty sure his the attack he chooses has something to do with where I'm standing. At least that's what it seems like. It's not absolute, though.
You really do have to follow through on that dodge. That's fine. I can do that. Uh-oh. Well, unless he's got multiple phases, I think I might have this. Just a matter of time. Provided I don't make a mistake. <laughs> First try. I don't think I even used any items in that fight. That was not bad at all. Bye, Shannon. You're all right. It's gonna glitch a little bit because it's a crappy emulator, but... Yes, that was Quest 64. Completed. Finally. Thank you, Moon. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. Go into a boss, bleh. Go into a boss blind and beat it in one shot. That's a good feeling. I apologize for the glitchiness. I won't blame you if you decide to mute it here. I'm gonna let the staff... I'm gonna let the credits roll. For the sake of completeness. I'll probably have to mute this in post, because it's... and add the music, because it's... Emulator's a piece of shit. <laughs> but... Still. Yeah, I did not expect to get through that on the first try. Once you get down dodging that boss's attacks, it's not so bad. Definitely a lot easier than some bosses I faced throughout the game who had attacks that were pretty much unavoidable. I think if I hadn't had so many items, I would have uh, not been able to get past King Bajus, since I basically just chugged potions and water, water pillared him in the face until he was dead. I remember when I first played this game back when I was a kid, I got stuck on Nepti and I could not get past her. 
I was so obsessed with beating her that I actually replayed the entire game up to that point and finally managed to get past her. And then I uh, ended up getting stuck at Bannon Ban Ban Castle and couldn't get any farther. For some reason, I remember those Rose Knights as having actual Rose Heads. And it kind of weirds me out that they don't. Because I can see it. I can see that image so clearly in my head. I'm wondering now where it came from. What else to say about Quest 64? Well, I believe in the UK version, it had a different name. Uh, I believe in the UK it was called Holy Magic Century, and in Japan it was called L Tale Monsters. Obviously, the game has some issues. You're pretty much dead if you don't level water right from the start. At least from what I've saw, what I've seen, I doubt there's enough items to get you through without healing. And even if you did grind to the point where healing wasn't necessary, you'd probably end up leveling water anyway, just because you'd need to grind that long to get strong enough. I wonder if a no water run would even be possible. That might be fun to try. Excuse me. Oops, that was a mistake. Oh, and the game crashed. <laughs> well, that's a nice way to end things, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. Well, that has been Quest 64. Thank you for joining me. And that's going to be it for now. Take care.